More than 7.7 million people have fled Venezuela. There's no sign this is slowing down. Um, do you agree that something needs to be done uh, about our border that is just not sustainable? I mean, we see, uh, you know, these, these governors, and I'm, I'm sure you disapprove of the tactic, but they're sending migrants into places like Massachusetts, like New York, not like California, and these cities are having trouble uh, keeping up. The Republican governors say things like, we're just giving you a taste of what we have to deal with. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, our, our border is secure. The crisis at the southern border is intensifying with tens of thousands of migrants crossing every week. Even more lined up at the border, and the numbers are telling the story. Uh, no doubt about it, uh, our, our border is secure. In August, Customs and Border Protection reported more than 232,000 migrant encounters, the highest on record, bringing the annual total to just over 2.2 million. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with, with you, you, this being a humanitarian crisis at all, but just to get some clarity on this, and, and sure, that's a conversation for another day, but are, do you think that the border is secure? I just, do, is that what you said? Yes, the border is secure. Border cities like Eagle Pass and El Paso are now completely overwhelmed, and they're turning to state and federal officials for help. And we have to fix a broken system. Wait, and we also need you think it is secure? You think the border is secure? or it is not secure? I believe that we are in the midst of a humanitarian crisis and there needs to be federal investment to support those migrant families. This is a humanitarian crisis and it's the consequence of a number of longstanding uh, broken policies. Uh, we need federal investment to support uh, my constituents and those who call the MA7 home writ large. Um, I wanna center the humanity, uh, the dignity, the safety and the needs of everyone. But if you have millions of undocumented migrants coming into the country, how is the border secure? Representing one of the most... Uh... I'm not disagreeing with anything you're saying except for the idea that the border is secure. I mean, if you have people crossing the border, it's just by definition not secure. If you have people coming to the United States... In fact, I mean, one of the arguments being made, and I think it's an argument worth considering, is that because our border is so porous, Millions of people make this very unsafe journey. Millions of people give money to people who prey on them, coyotes, and take them on these journeys to cross into the United States, preying on them, vulnerable people. And that's because the border is not secure. Because it is not secure, they go on this journey. And one of the arguments that is made, and maybe you disagree with it, is that the border should be secure so as to discourage people from making this journey. But it just seems like just such a, a refusal to acknowledge reality just to say that the border is secure when we all know millions of people are crossing the border illegally every year. Um, we have uh, climate refugees, people that have been disabled in, in regions that are destabilized um, by extreme weather events. Sure. We have people that are violence and corruption. Yep. Uh, and so we just have to acknowledge why someone would leave um, their native uh, country and their family and risk so much. It is 100%. because they are in pain. And yeah. asylum is a human right. Oh, here's another one. Go home to mom. Go home to mom. And your mother is voting for Trump.